Well, welcome back to Driving at Home. Today, we're, it's a beautiful, sunny Sunday morning here in Indiana. We're actually looking at uh, this beautiful streetscape and admiring the cars, of course, as we do here in uh, this channel. But wanted to talk to you a little bit about current situation with our um, power generation capacity in this country because we're all trying to go to electric vehicles and it's um, sort of a situation where we're backing ourselves into a corner because we have many electric vehicles coming out all the time which are going to need to be plugged in not just at their stations at Meyer or Walmart or where have what have you but also at their houses you know as we walk through this lower middle class neighborhood we realize that there's going to be a need for extra uh, power generation and not just during the daytime when you have solar or during the windy periods when you have windy conditions you're going to need to have 24 hours, seven days a week power for keeping all those electric vehicles charged up. That's not to mention the additional needs for artificial intelligence, for robots or what have you that we're gonna be uh, seeing come on board here soon. Basically the electric vehicle is just a robot on four wheels and that's going to basically take over the automotive industry at some point. I just read that there's a company based out of Portland, Oregon called New Scale where they are getting nuclear regulatory commission uh, approval for taking their small modular reactors to the next level. Now you can check our prior videos on this channel from about a year ago or so when we launched the channel and we were talking about the need for continued growth in our nuclear power generating capacity in order to be able to cover the demand that's going to be coming for more reliable power and carbon free power which is what everybody's looking to do. New Scale apparently is now getting to where they're able to work on building at a better scale to be able to take care of the demand out there of their new small modular reactors. They said they're actually pretty viable. They're sitting on $137 million in cash with no debt. I don't know how you do that if you're just in the R&D stages of your business, but <clears throat> in any case, it sounds like they're healthy. So all the more reason, let's go. Let's get these small modular reactors going. By the way, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there that are rocking it with their youngins. We honor you today because this is Mother's Day. It's a beautiful, sunny Mother's Day. So mothers also would want to um, make sure that their kids are able to live in a society where they honor the future by having sustainable power that goes into the future for many decades without interruption. Go ahead and like this video and also subscribe because we are always talking about sustainable matters that will allow our vehicle fleet to continue even into the stages of having electric vehicles or hybrids or what have you plug in hybrids where we are going to be needing consistent power 24 7 and carbon free and that's your nuclear promise the promise of nuclear energy. Join us again on the next video. See you then.